Yo, what is good with you boys? Welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a brand new working macro inside of the brand new Grow a Garden update. Now, before we get to this video, make sure to like and subscribe, as I would really appreciate it, and it does help with the channel a lot. And yeah, let's go ahead and get directly into this macro, guys. Alright, guys, now the first thing you're going to want to end up doing to get this macro is you're going to end up going over to this website called autohockey.com. Now, I have the link in the description, or you can end up typing autohockey.com into your browser, but basically, what you're going to want to do is end up heading over here, and then you're going to go ahead and click on the green dollar button. Once you end up clicking on this thing, it's going to ask you for if you want to download the two. 2.0 version or the 1.1 version you're going to want to end up downloading the 1.1 version as the 2.0 version is not going to work for this specific macro so again go to auto hotkey click the download button and go ahead and download the 1.1 version as this is going to be the only one that ends up working now we can end up moving on to the next thing all right now the next thing we're going to end up doing is clicking the recon source macro link in the description and once you do end up completing the recon source just go ahead and hit the green download button in the middle now what that's going to end up doing is downloading the zip file and all you're going to want to do is just unzip this into a regular folder once you end up doing that you can end up loading back into grow garden and we can just adjust a couple of settings and get this macro started all right everybody so at this point you should end up having auto hockey in the macro installed and now we can end up getting into the settings we need to adjust but before we get into these settings i do have a quick word from our sponsors right quick before we continue on with the video let me tell you about today's sponsor blockscard.com where you can purchase grow a garden pets and more simply head over to the store page and click on the item you want to purchase enter the discount code hassan for 20 percent discount and complete your payment follow the steps which were given to you Buy their delivery system and join the person in Grow at Garden and you will receive your items. Basically, the first thing you're going to want to end up doing is hitting F11 to unfull screen your game. Once you end up doing that, basically what you're going to want to do is end up hitting your escape button. You're going to go over to your settings and scroll all the way down until you see UI navigation toggle. Now, you're going to need to make sure this is turned on. If this is turned off, this whole macro will not work. Probably one of the most important things you're going to end up doing. Make sure this is turned on. Now, once you do end up doing that, basically you can end up pulling up your macro. So, what we're going to end up doing is going ahead and going over to our folder, which we end up having the macro installed in, which is the Barrage Grow Garden macro. And once you end up doing that, what you're going to want to do is just hit the main auto hotkey and that's going to end up running the macro so as you guys can see virage's macro the grow garden thing as you guys can see is right here and now we're going to end up adjusting a couple of settings inside of here and basically showing you how it ends up working all right everybody now once you do end up hitting continue basically it's going to end up take you over to the macro and as you guys can see it's going to be all of the tabs and settings inside of the macro and basically i'm going to end up explaining how this is going to end up working so the first tab you're going to end up seeing is going to be the seeds tab basically what this is going to end up doing is automatically buying as many seeds as you want so as you guys can see over at the seed shop there's a bunch of seeds and if you want it to afk buy the seeds you can end up clicking which seeds you end up wanting it to buy now it's going to buy the maximum stock so say there's like 10 of a specific seed it's going to buy all 10 of them and it's going to check how much money you end up having so for an example if i want to buy the beanstalk seed the cacao seed the pepper seed and the mushroom seed i would end up selecting that but just for this video i'm just going ahead and end up selecting every single seed just so it ends up showing y'all and you can end up clicking this button as well it definitely does make things a lot easier but yeah go ahead and click this button or select whatever seeds you end up wanting it to end up buying next up is going to be the gears and basically what the gears are going to end up doing is that's going to pretty much just be all of the gears you're going to end up wanting so for an example with this i wouldn't recommend like buying expensive stuff like the harvest tool or the favorite tool because if you guys can't tell it's literally always in the stock when you end up buying that so yeah i would definitely wouldn't end up recommend buying that but yeah go ahead and the ones i would recommend buying is the master sprinkler the lightning rod the godly sprinkler the advanced one basically all of these except the harvest tool and favorite tool and yeah very important that you end up selecting the recall wrench as well because you do need recall wrenches for this to end up working so go ahead and select whatever ones you end up wanting i'm gonna just go ahead and select these right here don't select all because it's going to end up wasting all your money buying harvest tools and favorite tools and yeah we can end up moving on to the next tab now the next tab is going to be the egg shop basically this is just going to be all of the eggs inside of the game nothing too crazy so say i want to end up buying a bug egg a mythical egg legendary egg you know basically all of these eggs i would recommend going ahead and doing that right now as you guys can see there's nothing really crazy on stock right now but yeah go ahead and select whatever ones you end up wanting it to uh end up selecting and we can end up moving on to the next tab the next tab is going to be cosmetics and the only one for here is going to be buy all cosmetics and as you guys can see i'm going to quickly show y'all just how expensive cosmetics are i personally wouldn't recommend having this one on unless you're just like completely loaded on shekels but yeah, let's go ahead and see right quick i mean this sign created 55 million this gnome card is 56 million i'm pretty sure y'all don't want to spend all that money on you know these little cosmetics and stuff so personally i wouldn't recommend having this one this feature on but i mean if you guys are rich and you do have a lot of money you can end up turning that one on next up 
up is gonna be the settings one, and this is gonna be a whole lot of uh co like stuff like your Discord web link and stuff. Now, personally, what I would recommend end up uh, turning on is gonna be the fast mode and auto align. Now, auto align, if you this is pretty much gonna be the one you're gonna have to turn on, otherwise you're gonna have to automatically like manually, I mean, like line up your stuff. Now, fast mode, I would definitely end up recommending turning this on if you have a really good computer and can run like high frame rates and stuff. Definitely turn that one on. It definitely makes a really big difference, and that's the one I would end up turning on. Then, then the other one is going to end up being multi instance mode so if you have multiple instances of roblox loaded up you can end up using this macro and it's going to work for all of them it's going to make it a very easy process and you know you can end up using this and like pretty much just getting a whole bunch of stuff done you know what i'm saying and it's all right there's a discord pings one as well so if you do end up linking the webhook to your uh server or whatever you want to end up linking it up to it'll end up telling you what you end up buying and you could end up having it ping you as well so like when you end up buying i don't know like a dragon fruit or a master sprinkler it'll end up pinging you when it does that and then yeah you put in your discord id and your private server url i'm not really sure how webhooks end up working but yeah and also right here is going to be your ui navigation key so whatever your setting is inside mine is the backslash but for some of y'all it might be the hashtag make sure you change this to whatever that is and then last two uh features are going to be the donate one which is just going to be like you know you donate it and donate it to the people and stuff that made this so yeah if you guys do want to donate go ahead and donate and then there's the credits which is going to end up tell you about all of this now we can end up going ahead and starting this macro so you don't have to have it open to end up running this macro but go ahead make sure your game is on full screen i'm going to end up hitting f5 so let's just go ahead and do that but real quick before we do that let's just go ahead and get our, our recall wrenches right quick go ahead and uh put this in the second um slot as you guys can see now we can end up just going ahead and hitting f5 so let's go ahead and do that right quick and yeah this is going to be how the macro is going to end up working so as you guys can see it's going to end up automatically adjusting our camera angles and stuff and yeah just like that alignment complete and now it's going to end up talking to all the people and buying everything in stock so yeah, as y'all can see there we go buying all the carrot seeds just like that very easy very simple and then it's gonna end up going down and buy everything that's available in stock so yeah it moves pretty quickly you know what i'm saying sometimes it does make a couple mistakes and like doesn't buy it but it's really rare 99.9 .9 percent of the time it's gonna end up buying pretty much everything as y'all can end up seeing it's gonna end up checking what's in stock and what's not in stock this is very good to end up leaving on overnight i mean this is really gonna make a huge difference and yeah as you guys can see let's go ahead over here it's gonna be some uh stuff at this shop right here and the uh the gear stuff is going to end up resetting in 17 seconds or so yeah let's just go ahead and end up buying all of this right quick nothing in stock nothing in stock nothing in stock very easy very simple and once it does end up doing this it's going to end up waiting and yeah so it's going to automatically buy these eggs because i selected them which i probably should not have selected them i don't really want all these pet eggs in my inventory but yeah now it's just going to end up waiting and yeah there we go now what i'm going to end up doing is i'm just going to go ahead and end up ending the macro with f7 and yeah that's going to end up stopping the macro and it ends up working like that very easy and very simple and that's going to end up wrapping it up for this video i hope you guys did end up enjoy make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe it's your, it's your boy swoop here and i'm out bye cop the iheart lady boys hat you guys will not regret it please cop it now bye